In this segment, we're going to be discussing infield grooming. There are two types of infield grooming, pre-game grooming and post-game grooming. In this segment, we're going to concentrate on post-game grooming. After a game, it is important to remove all the bases and plug each anchor. After that, rake around each base in multiple directions to remove material that may have been pushed on the opposite side of the base during the game. This will ensure that the bases stay on grade and the sliding areas remain level. Moisture management is the key prior to any grooming. There are many different drags to groom an infield. In this application, we are using a nail drag. As you can see, as the nail drag is pulled across the surface, it penetrates the infield about a half inch, eliminating cleat marks and incorporating the conditioner lightly into the infield mix. Nail dragging is typically used after rain events to help dry out an infield. In this application, we are using a broom to smooth the surface. As you can see, a broom does a great job distributing conditioner and smoothing the field, prepping it for the next game. In this application, we are using a rigid mat drag. Mat drags work great in both wet and dry conditions to smooth the infield surface, prepping it for the next game. In this application, we are using a coca mat. Coca mats are great in wet conditions when conditioner is needed to be moved around an infield. When dragging infields, it is always best to drag them by hand. When using a machine, always ensure that the machine is running at a pace that is at or slightly below a walking pace. Also, always ensure that you are varying patterns when dragging an infield and staying off the edges at least 12 inches. Staying off the edges will help reduce lifts and create a smoother surface. After completing dragging, the easiest way to finish the edges is just using a simple broom. In this application, walk a broom along the edge to clean up that 12 inch span that was missed during dragging. This is the easiest way to get clean edges and avoid building up lips long term. The Fishers Department of Public Works, Hamilton Southeastern Schools, and Sports, Southeastern Program of Recreational Team Sports, have partnered in a number of ways to provide increased services to the schools, students, and residents of Fishers by assuming maintenance responsibilities of school grounds. The partnership allows the district to use capital project funds rather than those from its general fund for this expense, freeing up resources for classrooms and teaching positions. The result is improved overall condition of the school grounds, paving the way for an increased number of competitive team events on school fields for all age groups, from kindergartners to varsity athletes. This partnership also decreases the need for Fishers to build more athletic fields for youth sports and focus on diversifying our park inventory to meet the needs of a diverse community.